Hi everyone. Welcome back to your English class. Today we are going to deal with chapter 7 from First Flight textbook and the title of our chapter is Glimpses of India. Glimpses the meaning of glimpses is glance. So here we are going to have the glance of India from different viewpoint that is Uh, we have a small story or a small fact related to Goa, then about Kurk, that is in Karnataka, and about Assam. Okay, so it just gives us a small glimpse about Goa, Kurk, and Assam. Okay, so it is three parts. The whole chapter is divided into three parts. So let's move on to the first one. A baker from Goa, written by Lucio. Rodriguez. So here in this first part, we can see this is a pen portrait of a traditional Govan village, village baker who still has an important place in society. So this story tells us that a baker in Govan village has an important place in the whole society. So let's see how it is. Okay, moving on to the chapter. Our elders are often heard reminiscing nostalgically about those good old Portuguese days, the Portuguese and their famous loaves of bread. Those eaters of loaves might have vanished, but the makers are still there. So this is also uh, reminding us about the old Portuguese days, as you all know that Goa was under Portuguese rule uh, for about four uh, fifty years, and they got freedom in the year nineteen sixty one, December nineteen. So till that period, Portuguese ruled ruled Goa, and Goa was under their rule. So they are called here as bread eaters, and the Goan bakers are called as bread makers. Okay, even though the Portuguese people have gone, still the bakers in Goa make. ब्रेड ओके अभी भी गोवा में ब्रेड जो मेक करते हैं बनाते हैं वो अभी भी हैं द बेकर्स आर स्टिल देयर इन गोवा ओके दो सीटर्स ऑफ लोस माइट हैव वैनिश बट द मेकर्स आर स्टिल देयर वी स्टिल हैव अमंग अस द मिक्सर्स द माउल्डर्स एंड दोस हु बेक द लोस दोस एज ओल्ड टाइम टेस्टेड फर्नेसेस स्टिल एक्सिस्ट तो ऐसे भी बोलते हैं कि वो जो फर्नस है ना जिसमें ये बेकिंग होती है वो अभी भी है दैट फर्नस इज स्टिल देयर इन गोवा एंड दैट फायर हैज नॉट एक्सटिंग्विश्ड उसका मतलब है उसमें अभी भी बेकिंग चालू है ओके द मेक बेकिंग इज स्टिल गोइंग ऑन इवन दो द ईटर्स हैव गॉन प्रोच्यूज पीपल आर वेल वेरी वेल नोन एज ब्रेड लावर्स ओके इवन दो द ईटर्स हैव गॉन बट द मेकर्स स्टिल एक्सिस्ट ओके द फायर इन द फर्नस हैज नॉट बीन एक्सटिंग्विश्ड अभी भी वो फर्नस में है ना आग चल रहा है इसका मतलब स्टिल नाउ बेकिंग इज कंटिन्यूड ओके द थर्ड एंड द जिंगल ऑफ द ट्रेडिशनल बेकर्स बैम्बू हेराल्डिंग इज अराइवल इन द मॉर्निंग कैन स्टिल बी हर्ड इन सम प्लेसेस मे बी द फादर इज नॉट अलाइव बट द सन स्टिल कैरीज ऑन द फैमिली प्रोफेशन दिस बेकर्स आर इवन टूडे नोन एज पेड पैड इन गोवा ओके सो स्टिल नाउ Uh, it is told that the profession is carried on but to generation generation okay for example if the father was a baker the his son will surely be a baker so the same profession is carried on generation after generation and the arrival of a baker to a village or to a society is with a grand Uh, sound and all because he is having a stick with him and uh, he is having a bell tied to the top of the stick and he is thudding the stick on the uh, floor so that um, that voice makes the people come to know that the baker is coming okay ye baker ek sound sab bana kar apne village mein aata hai to wohi sound se sare village ke log ko pata chalta hai ki baker aa aa gaya During our childhood in a Goa, the baker used to be our friend, companion, and guide. Uh, he used to come at least twice a day. Once when he set out in the morning for on selling his round, and then again when he returned after emptying his huge basket. The jingling thud of the bamboo woke us up from sleep, and we ran to meet him and greet him. Okay, so here in this 
portion the author is trying to recall he is becoming nostalgic okay he is trying to recall the past he is telling that during his childhood the baker was their companion friend and friend and guide and वो क्या करता था वो डेली है ना दो बार आता था इनके प्लेस में और वो भी सुबह आता था उसके बाद शाम भी आता था सुबह जब वो सेलिंग के लिए जाता था और शाम को जब वो अपनी सेलिंग खत्म करता है ना तब भी आता था ओके एंड आई आई टोल्ड यू ही मेक्स सम साउंड एंड एंटर्स द विलेज दैट इज द जिंगलिंग थंड ऑफ थर्ड ऑफ बैम्बू ओके and let's continue why was it so was it the love of love not at all the loves of were brought by some paskin or bastine and the maid servant of the house what we longed for though were those bread bangles which were chose carefully sometimes it was a sweet bread of a special make to isme aise bhi batate hain bacche doubt kar unke paas jate hain aur kyun jate hain especially they go near the baker for a special thing that is bread bangles okay bachcho ke liye ye baker hai na specially kuch lata hai uska naam hai bread bangles bread ko bangle ke shape mein mold kiya hua hai and loaves of bread hote hain na bread ke big big pieces wo to ghar walon ke liye servants le lete hain aur ye chote bachche unke paas ye bread bangles ke liye jate hain okay let me continue The baker made his musical entry on the scene with a jung jung sound on his specially made bamboo staff and one hand supported the basket on his head and the other banged the bamboo on the ground he would greet the lady of the house with good morning and then place his basket on the vertical bamboo to isme ek aisa ek baker ek village mein ghusta hai aisa bhi bataya ki jung jung sound sab bana ke apne stick se wo aata hai aur ek hath se wo basket pakadta hai dusre hath se wo ye stick pakadta hai and he is trying to balance everything then he greets the lady of the house uh, then what happened we kids be pushed aside with a mild rebuke and the loss of bread would be delivered to the servant but we would not give up we would climb a bench or a parapet and peep into the basket somehow i can still recall the typical fragrance of those loaves and the loaves for the elders and the bangles for children then we did not even care to brush our teeth or wash our mouth properly and why should we who would take the trouble of plucking um, the mango leaf for the toothbrush and uh, why was it necessary at all the tiger never brushed his teeth hot tea could wash and clean up everything so nicely aur isme aisa bhi batate hain ki ye bacche sare bacche ja kar baker ke charon taraf aise से जाते हैं तो बेकर सभी को पुश करके वो घर वालों के लिए लॉस देता है उसके बाद ही वो बच्चों पर ध्यान रखता है बच्चे तो सुबह है ना विथ आउट ब्रशिंग द टीथ दे रन टूवर्ड्स द बेकर ओके एंड दे डोंट फील लाइक ब्रशिंग द टीथ एंड ही द पॉइंट सॉरी द रॉथर इज टेलिंग अस दैट इवन टाइगर्स डोंट ब्रश द टीथ ओके सो ऐसा है सो लेट मी कंटिन्यू marriage gifts are meaningless without sweet bread known as bowl just as a party or a feast loses its charm without bread not enough can be said to show how important a baker can be for a village the lady of the house must prepare sandwiches on occasion on her daughter's engagement cake and balinhas are must for christmas as well as other festivals thus the presence of baker's furnace in the village is absolutely essential to isme aisa bolte hain ki marriage ke liye hai na ek specially ek sweet bread log mangwate hain uska naam hai bowl and for daughter's wedding or daughter's engagement the lady of the house kya banate hain sandwich banate hain aur festivals christmas aise wale festivals mein cake and ball in house banate hain isse kya pata chalta hai ki Yes, you can come to understand that the baker is having an important place. Okay, the baker or the bread seller of those days had a peculiar dress known as kabai, and it was a single piece long frock reaching down the knees. In our childhood, we saw bakers wearing a shirt and trousers which were shorter than full length ones and longer than half pants. Even today, anyone who wears a half pant which reaches below the knees invites a comment that he is dressed like a padder. तो इसमें ऐसा बताया कि बेकर को पैडर बोलते हैं ओके okay. uh, 
तो बेकर का ड्रेस का भी क्या है उसे खबाई बोलते हैं बेकर हैज ए स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ ड्रेस दैट इज खबाई दैट इज इन पॉर्चुगीज डेज ओके अभी क्या है कब्बाई कौन सा ड्रेस है एक लॉन्ग फ्रॉक है जो नीस तक पहुंचता है अभी क्या करते हैं लोग वहाँ के लोग अभी शर्ट पहनते हैं ट्राउसर्स पहनते हैं वो जो ट्राउसर्स है ना वो भी थ्री फोर्थ जैसा ट्राउसर्स पहनते हैं ओके okay, इसीलिए अभी कोई ऐसा ड्रेस पहनकर जाता है तो उसको ऐसी कमेंट मिलती है कि वो एक पैडर जैसा ड्रेस किया हुआ है ओके मूविंग ऑन टू द लास्ट पैरा द बेकर यूजली कलेक्टेड हिस्स बिल्स एट द एंड ऑफ द मंथ मंथली अकाउंट्स बे यूज टू बी रिकॉर्ड ऑन सम वॉल इन द पेंसिल बेकिंग वॉज इन डीड अ प्रॉफिटेबल प्रोफेशन इन द ओल्डन डेज The baker and his family never starved. He and his family and servants always looked happy and prosperous. Their plum physique was an open testimony to this. Even today, any person with a jackfruit-like physique appearance is easily compared to a baker. तो इसमें ऐसा भी बताया है कि baker है ना अपने हम अपना bill हमेशा wall पे note करके रखता है और baker का profession बहुत ही profitable है उसकी family कभी भी starve नहीं करती वो कभी भी भूखे नहीं रहते हाँ देर दे हैव अ प्लम फिजिक एंड दिस प्लम फिजिक उनकी अपियरेंस है ना बहुत फैट होते हैं मोटे होते हैं वो देखकर हम समझ लेते हैं कि वो एक बेकर है बिकॉज इट इज़ द टेस्टी मनी टेस्टी मनी का मतलब है पब्लिक स्टेटमेंट है ओके तो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट दिस फर्स्ट पार्ट आई होप यू कुड अंडरस्टैंड थैंक यू